Advanced filtering. Each table in WPDA tables can have an advanced filter applied. What's advanced about that is that by default you have a global search block in the top right corner of each table, but it's searching within the whole table at once. And advanced filtering allows you to apply separate types of filters for each column and um, allows, it, allows you to make it really flexible. So in this video tutorial we are going to go through different options for uh, filtering tables by individual columns, different filter types uh, and some additional uh, possibilities with the filtering functionality. So first, to enable advanced filtering, you need to tick this checkbox in the WP Data Tables uh, configuration. I mean, in the uh, edit page, which you can see when you add the table from data source or when you click go to table settings for the tables generated from table constructor. This advanced filtering is ticked by default. So by default, every table generated with WP data tables has this advanced filtering block applied. By default, it's rendered below the table. So below each column, you have a filtering block. You can redefine it to be rendered in the header. So here in the headers, uh, these inputs can be rendered uh, as well. Third option is to render it above the table or in a widget, but we'll get to this a little bit later. So once the filtering is enabled, you will see in the columns block for each table this input called filter type. And there, there is several filter types which already exist in this table, and we will just go through them and see how the logic for, for this type works. So first filter type is none. Uh, and this means that we don't need a filter for this uh, column. For example, this is applicable for attachments or images when there is a column, but we don't need to filter by this column. Second type is a text and it's the default one. Uh, the text is the usual uh, search so whatever you type in here will be searched within the table and the table will be filtered but I mean searched within this column so I typed UT and it uh, showed only the uh, rows where there is a combination of these uh, characters UT see here UT so here uh, probably somewhere after the, the dots, <laughs> which is not visible here. So here, UT, UT, UT. So it filtered 13 entries out of 100. And these are all the rows that contain this UT in them. That's how text filter works. Next one is number filter. And the number filter works that it's, uh, it can be applied to, to a, a integer or a float column. Actually, that's the only filter type that we don't have present in this table. It's looking for an exact match of the num number. So, for example, if we had it here instead of the number range, and if we would uh, say, I want only this number, it would show us only this row here, and it would filter out all the other rows, only if uh, there wouldn't be different rows that contain the same value. And the next filter type is the number range, which we have here. So it filters everything, uh, shows only the rows where values in this column lie between the given range of numbers. So we say everything between 4000 and 5000. And it filters everything out. It shows us again 13 entries, which are uh, which have the hits column value between 4,000 and 5,000. It's also possible to define only one border. So we can say that 
we don't care where the uh, lower uh, border is but it must be smaller than 5000 or the uh, or the other way around so we can define the lower border so we can say like we want only everything which is higher than uh, 7000 and you see it renders only the uh, rows where hits is more than 7000 okay let's move on next one is date range it allows for date uh, for the date columns such as this one to filter uh, only the values between a given range of dates so for example we can choose in the date picker 1st July of this uh, year and 31st July and it shows us only four entries for this month because only these rows uh, have the date column value lying between the given range so we can then clear that also it's possible to define only lower border or only the higher border uh, and then it will filter everything till this border next thing is select box and we have it here Sorry. Uh, so this renders a select box where you can choose one of the given uh, the given list of values the only thing that is necessary here is that for tables based on CSV or Excel, which are created by add from data source uh, function, they uh, have this uh, list in the select box generated automatically. But for the server side processing based tables, uh, such as this one, you need to define the values for uh, for the for the select box. So you need to go here and in the possible values input define the possible values manually separated with the stick we know that's annoying we are working on getting rid of that in probably next version already but for now it's necessary to fill this in manually and, and the last filter type is checkbox so this renders a button if we have the filter in in the uh, in embedded in the in the table, it renders a button, and when we click this button, it renders a pop-up, which is by the way by the way responsive. So if it's on mobiles, it will also uh, work nice. Where you can choose several values. So select box allows to choose only one value, and here you can choose multiple values out of uh, the given list and it's the same thing here if you don't use server-side processing for the table you don't need to do anything else just choose the filter type and that's it and if you do have uh, server-side processing enabled for your table you need to uh, give uh, to, to provide the possible values manually here separated with the stick as we did for this table then it will work also has a reset button so we can clear the selection so the next thing that we would like to to show here is the advanced filtering in the uh, above the table so it's not always convenient if you have a lot of columns to have the filter embedded in the table itself so it's possible to have a filter in form above the table to enable it you need just to tick this checkbox and then filter won't be rendered under the table it will be rendered above the table in a form we have a demo here that's why i open this page just to find it Okay, here it is so you see it renders the filtering block above the table and uh, if there are many columns it will be a large filtering block where uh, <coughs> where all the different filters are inserted first thing to mention here is that 
If you have a checkbox filter, it will not work as a pop-up for filter in form. It will instead show all the checkboxes here in the form too. And the second thing, which might be really useful, is that if you have hidden columns, you can uh, enable filter in form and then you can filter by hidden columns. So you will not see the columns in the table, but you will have a filtering block for these columns. Uh, that might be handy for some tables. Uh, and the last thing to mention is that also filtering can be done in a widget. You can place it in a sidebar, for example, or in a footer, header, or wherever you have a widgetable area. To do this, you need to go to Appearance, Widgets. Uh, there you will see the widget, which is called which is called WP Data Tables Filtering Widget. And you can place it in one of the sidebars or other, other vegetable areas. I will not do this now since we don't have a sidebar, but we have a screenshot over here. So when you place it in the page sidebar, you can then uh, see the whole filter in the sidebar on the right or left side or whatever. Uh, WordPress has really flexible functionality in terms of widgeting different areas. Uh, and one last thing to mention here is that you can predefine filter values. Uh, there is a default value input for each column block in WP Data Tables. So let's reopen, reopen our page. Uh, it has every column block has the default values here and that's used for the filtering so if you want to have something pre-selected you can put it here and also for the uh, checkboxes it can be multiple also separated with it with this stick so we uh, save this now and go to our front page you will see that these two values are pre-selected by default. I will reset this here. Also, same, true, same is true for date ranges, number ranges, etc. Uh, and also, it's possible to define filter values in the URL. Uh, you can see how to do this in our text version of this tutorial but I will just show you so uh, you can define additional URL keys which is called WDT column filter and then in square brackets the key and the key can be either uh, either a zero based numerical index for the column or uh, initial header of the column which you can find here as uh, original header this one displayed in the upper part so whatever is more convenient so for example in here we used the zero based uh, index so first column filter for the table will be equal to t more or less and when we click this link you see that we have this uh, filter defined here and that it chosen the t more or less here and it filtered out only uh, the rows that have this value applied but you can then go and change it so it's convenience be convenient because you can have some external form where a user can pre-fill the date and when he clicks apply he can be redirected to the page with the table and the table is, will just need to send uh, the values for the filter in this form and then the table can be pre-filtered on page load. I guess that's it for filtering. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorials. WP Data Tables, the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.